Hi, this is Jake at Canadian Cutting Edge. Today we're going to take a look at a knife from Enlan, the EL04. Not to get mixed up with the L04. I know those naming conventions kind of cross each other, but those are two very different knives. Uh, this is with the green micarta. Nice knife. The only thing is, is the lockup on it is solid, but it's crooked. As you can see, the access bar is on an angle. Just double check. Yep, just like always. Hopefully you can see that clearly. I'm going to attempt to fix this. And then I'll do a review of the entire knife. Come on down to the tabletop. Let's take a look at this thing. Okay, so here's the knife. The first thing that we're going to notice is the proprietary pivot screw right there. I could either make my own tool for that to get in there, which is kind of difficult because those holes are very small and to get it just right is, is a challenge. Or I could buy a tool for it. Unfortunately, the only place I could find a tool that works is from X-Duct. I'll put a link in the description below. And further, unfortunately, is this is pretty expensive, $18.50. The other style that Enlan and some others do that's proprietary um, has a tool that's available at GearBest for $5. So I've ordered that one and I've waited, but that does not uh, work for this three hole system. So I got this tool from Xduct and it works to fit right in there. And I can adjust the pivot or take it apart like that. Okay, so I'm not going to film taking this whole thing apart. That's just going to bore you to bits. But I'm going to take a look and see what I can do to fix this. Okay, so I have it apart. And um, what you probably can't see and uh, I find hard to show is uh, right here. This is where the, uh, the access lock slides on right there. That surface that surface there is on an angle um, like this it's actually on an angle this way is how it's been cut instead of flat it should be flat on top right here like that but instead it's on an angle like this of course not that severe and that's exactly what I think the problem is so I've got to take a fine file and just take a little bit off of this edge off of this edge right here in order to make it level instead of on an angle. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find something else better to show you, hang on. Okay, here's a flat piece of metal and there's my knife. If I lay it right on there flat, oh, you still probably can't see, but it is on an angle. I'm trying to keep it as straight as ever. It's slightly up on the left and lower on the right. To make it level, it would need to be like that. A very, very slight adjustment. But you can see that it's there. It needs to be like this, and it is like this. Okay. So what I wanted to do was take off just a little bit, and I think, I think you can see the area where I've filed. It looks slightly different. A really fine file. Took a little bit of a ridge off of there. Um, it's very easy to take off too much. I'm going to see if I did take off too much or not, because I'm going to put it back together now. I think this video will just be a... Um, just put my hand there like that so it'll focus better. This might just be a repair video and not a review at all. I'll do a review on a separate video. There, yeah, you can get a really good look at that now where I filed on the left side. Okay, so now I've got to put this thing back together again. Oh, this will be the tricky part right here. Um, and I can't do it with this camera over top of my, where I'm looking. Sorry guys, you won't be able to see this next part. 
Okay, so I've got it mostly together. I don't have the screws in the micarta yet. And now it's time for the test, isn't it? Oh, it's still crooked. Okay, well, at least I didn't take off too much. Back we go, undo it all, and start again. Okay, where am I? where are my tools? All right, let's loosen this off. And we'll take this off. I know you guys can't really see what I'm doing anyways. Can you? Well, you can see a little bit of it. Sorry about getting across the screen there. I wanted to show you at least just a little bit about what I'm doing to take it apart in case some of you guys want to uh, try it on your own on your knives. It's a good thing to learn, especially if you're going to uh, if you've got smaller, I mean, less expensive knives like these, it's a great place to uh, practice the craft of uh, doing your own repairs. And Because uh, once you learn how to do your own repairs on the cheaper ones, uh, then you can do it on the more middle mid-priced ones. But uh, I would always leave the uh, expensive ones to... Uh, Especially if they've got a lifetime warranty, I wouldn't touch them at all. Leave it to the factory to work on. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the garage and I'm going to work on fixing that uh, grind there a little bit more. And it's just too dusty in there for my camera. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I've come back from the shop. Um, I've even gone and you can see the shine on there now. I put it on my buffing wheel to uh, buff it to get it as smooth as I could. I even buffed up this edge where the access lock is going to slide on. You know, give everything I can to make it just a little bit smoother. And that's as good as I'm going to get it. I know that the lockup is solid even if it's a little bit crooked. Um, I don't really want to take off too much and then just wreck the knife and not be able to use it at all. So, uh, well, I guess it sort of depends on how it looks when it comes together just now. So, uh, you know, I'll do the best I can with it and, uh, you know, just maybe I'll take it back apart again. We'll see. Here we go. All right. Before I do that, I'm going to Pull this washer up and uh, I'm going to clean these off. I don't have my uh, brass washers yet. I'm waiting forever for them to come. My sister's going to ship them to me. I had them shipped to her place in, uh, in Nebraska because to ship them straight to Canada was supposed to give cost me like $24. But to ship them to her place in Nebraska was free. And uh, so I did that, and she's got some other stuff of mine too. And so I'm just waiting to uh, for all that stuff to get delivered to her place, and then she'll just pack it all up in one box and send it to me. Depending on how well this works, I might just uh, leave it the way it is, or I might take it apart again and put in two brass washers. We'll see. So that goes there, the knife goes on, this washer goes on. Um, I don't have my um, my dry lube, my, uh, oh, I'll put the name in the description exactly what it's called. It's, it's, it's called uh, 
fluori fluoridated grease, something like that. I keep saying it wrong. I'll put a link in the description below or just, or the name of what it is. And that's, this one's going to be trickier putting that straight on. There we go. Hey, that wasn't that tricky. It worked well. See, the other side's still holding that really well. So I like what that's doing with, like the spring is holding it in place. Um, this spring that's on the other one, on the other side. So that works really well to put it together. Um, weave this thing through there somehow and over to the other side. Oh, the blade's in the way there, so I'm going to have to make sure the blade's all the way up. This is a very tricky part, so if my hands often get in front of the camera, sorry guys, it's just the way it has to be because you really need three hands for this job. Maybe more would be even better. You know, delicate little hands. Fairy hands, I guess. <laughs> Fairy hands. Come on, get through there. I will probably edit parts of this out because if I didn't, it would just get too terribly long. Yeah, you're not seeing anything, are you? Like I said, I'm going to edit parts of this out. I just need to get it started. Yes, there you go. Once it's started, you don't even need to finish it before doing the next step. Just have to get this wire in there. There we go, the wire's in. And now it's like almost done. Uh, except for I gotta screw these in more. There, once it's right to the top, so that bar is right to the top there, I can't screw it any deeper. This one I can screw the, uh, the nut, which is also your actuator where your fingers pull on screw it down to tighten the whole system up okay that's pretty good we can finish the rest later hey look at that it's locking up pretty straight not perfectly straighter than it did before <laughs> all right let's finish this puppy up and see what we get Lay your weary head to rest, don't you cry no more. Ta-da! It's not perfect, but it's better than it was before, isn't it, guys? What do you think? I think it's better than it was before. And it's plenty on there to be rock solid. Right on. Okay. Uh, da -da -dum -dum. Oh, if you are going to do this, it really pays to get good tools. This is a one of the very good brands for getting screwdrivers. Um, it's a German company, German engineering. They just make very good uh, torque screwdrivers. They make very good other kind of screwdrivers as well. So uh, I recommend them. Uh, the cheap no-name stuff like this. Um, I have to because I need to use a flat, but for your tight screws, your torque screws, the screws that you're going to have to put some pressure on, you really want to get good quality screwdrivers. <clears throat> common mistake a lot of guys make is they over tighten these things they don't need a lot of torque especially on the scales uh, you're actually going to do damage if you over tighten <clears throat> you'll know if you've under tightened you'll just have to redo it right um, but that's not that's not really a problem but over tightening can become a real problem god okay, I had this pivot I'm just loosening it up a little bit Close to straight. Look at that. I'm liking that. If I was doing this for a friend or somebody, I would make it even better than that. But that is quite close to just right. It's still a bit the same way. 
but it's rock solid now. It's sliding up on there. So you can see the edge already where it sat on there. Um, well, maybe you can't see it clearly as I can, but it's riding up a good three centimeters on that flat there. And that means it's, that means it's strong. I can't see any play here. Yeah, there's a little bit of play, so I'm gonna need to make it a bit tighter. Tiny, tiny little adjustments is what you need to do. Any play? No play, and it's still. It'll work in just right that way. Okay, so what I really wanna do is since I like this, I need to take this back apart and then I'm going to put some Loctite in. It's a little too tight. That's really good right there. Tiny, tiny, tiny adjustment. Okay. Rock solid. Okay, so now I'm going to give that lock take 24 hours to cure. Put the knife away. Don't touch it for 24 hours. Okay, so this is my video. This is going to be that repair video. Uh, remember, friends, always... Cut towards your chum and not your thumb. Bye now.